Super clever project from Heather this week. I love these kind of projects that you can build just by buying materials at the home center and piecing them together. No cutting, no tools necessary. Hi, I'm Heather from Diving Head First, and today on Home and Garden from Your Immortals, I'm going to show you how to make a bench slash shoe rack out of black pipe. Currently, we have in my apartment this just dinky shoe rack that you buy at the store that somebody had left over. And it's been okay, but we have no place to sit down anywhere near here. So just balancing on one foot to try and take off your shoes is really hard sometimes. Most of these supplies you can get at Home Depot, but there were the top four corners I actually had to order on Amazon because they're a specialty um, connection because you don't actually need those kind of connections in real plumbing. The supplies you will need for this project are six three foot pipes, paracord that I decided to weave as the seat of my bench. I ended up ordering a thousand foot spool because I wasn't sure exactly how much it would need and I think I ended up using about half of it so it's probably good with 500 feet. Four flanges for the feet, 12 T's, 12 2 inch pipes, four 8 inch pipes, four 6 inch pipes. These are the special top corners that I will leave a link in the description below as to where to find them on Amazon. And then I use extra color cord for like just making a very loose kind of mesh for the two racks where the shoes go. I found it easier to build everything as I was going up and not just building the two ends and then connecting them because just with the way that you have to fit the pipes together to make a square it eventually becomes a problem. And you kind of just need to play around with what works best for you and you might end up needing to use pliers to tighten everything towards the end. I started with the phalanges at the bottom and then I did a two inch pipe into the T and then from the T that's where the first uh, three set of three foot bars went on for that would be my lowest shoe rack. And then I did another two inch pipe above that and then I connected another T to that and in between those T's I put the 8 inch pipe to give it extra stability. From there I did another 2 inch pipe and to a T and then that was where I put the second level of the shoe rack with two more 3 foot pipes. From there I did the 6 inch pipe to the seat of the bench which was those special T top corners and put together with the 3 foot pipes and the 8 inch pipes. Since I was making rectangles with this I needed to play around with when I was doing the final piece for to close each level. You need to just, I found that I just needed to play around with what worked best. And I usually ended up over screw it into one side and then loosely screw it into the other side and then once I got the whole piece, that whole level together, I would tighten everything later with pliers. Once you have your pipe frame done, then you're ready to start weaving your bench if that is what you're going to continue doing. You could also instead of getting the specialty top corners that I got you can just get more flanges and attach a piece of wood. I just liked the weaving and I decided to try it. To weave the bench you just tie off one end and then just do a figure eight around the pipes and do that all the way along the length making sure to keep your string tight. You may need to cut multiple pieces of cord to just to be able to weave it back and forth but just make sure that you knot it properly and then continue all the way through to the end. Once you have your bench done I just decided to do like a loose netting of the cord for the shoe rack because some of my roommates feet are very small and would fit fall through these racks and to add a nice little pop of color. I really love how this came out and I hope you like it too. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to Home and Garden from Your Immortals. And if you want to see more DIY crafty videos, check out my channel, Diving Head First. See you guys later. Bye!